Okie dokie. So now, Utilinux is done. Jump back up, get rid of Utilinux. And we want to tar XVF XE. CD into XE. And this is not 365. Make, make, install. Man, I'm kind of. Man. This is like. I don't think I've typed. Typed, uh. This little. <laughs> in a while. Kind of. Not 366. I feel like I'm cheating. But, um. We're not really cheating. We're using our brains and our history. Yes. Actually. I better not change anything in it. There's a limit on scroll back by default. I think it's 512 lines or something like that. If I set that to unlimit, I should be able to find more. Um lines to scroll back along but yeah I ain't worried about it I'll just keep picking 365 and 366 and that's just alternating between configure prefix equals tools and make and make install actually if I was really clever about it and which I might do in a later tutorial I can just string them all together, configure prefix equals tools, and make, and make, make install. And if I get that number down, then I don't have to really type anything, just not whatever the history number is. <laughs> Alright. Xy's done. Remove Xy. Okay, so now section 3 or 5.35 we have to strip this off here so we'll say strip strip debug tools lib all let's take a look at how big our system is before we do that we'll say dfh right now we're using 1.5 gigs Okay. Okay. You'll see this is not an ordinary file for file format not recognized, that's common. That's okay. You can say user bin S T R I or strip strip unneeded tools and we'll say bin or slash all oh bump mic user bin strip strip unneeded tools okay Okay. We can save more room, it says here, by stripping off the documentation or removing the documentation. I'll do verbose on that. Let's see, comma, share, encapsulate, info, man, doc. At this point, you should have at least three gigs of free space on LFS. Blah blah. blah. What was that? You can build that. What that? Changing ownership. It says note here. Note. The commands and the rest and the remainder of the book must be performed while logged in as user root, no longer as user LFS. Okay. So let's just exit. If I hit D8, 
DFH here. Well, I think we had 1.5 before. Now we see if they're going to mega bleed something like that. Okay, and do not forget to say chone or I'm going to go for boost on it. Root, root. Actually, let me see if our LFS variable stuck. It should. There we go. Chone or for boost. Say root, root, LFS tools. Okay. Change the ownership of the LFS tools directory to use a root by running the following command. That's the one we just did. Caution: If you intend to keep temporary tools for using for use in building a future LFS system, now's the time to back them up. I won't worry about that. On to section 6.1. Alright, so I'm going to cut it here and we'll pick it up fresh in chapter 6, section 6.1. Peace out.